Hi everyone. So um, I wanted to show. I've been running a, a, a slightly longer simulation now. I wanted to show a couple of things that came out of it. Um, so one thing is that the pixelings are getting really good at chasing each other. So you can kind of see these like it's almost like trains of uh, pixelings. Like there's like a couple of them. Let's see if we can find like a good example here somewhere. Um, it almost looks like they have started playing Snake sometimes. You can kind of see like three or four, or sometimes you can see like five, six pixelings. Here you go, there's like a couple of them following each other. Um, and I guess it's just because they're, they're starting to get so good at uh, being predators. Um, so yeah, it's just it's just them like chasing each other for to to eat. Um, so yeah, that, that was one thing I wanted to show, which I thought was was pretty cool. Uh, the other thing is that you can kind of see. Okay, let's pause this. So you can see that the the waypoints when when you start a simulation now the waypoints um, are usually pretty short. They keep resetting their waypoints. Um, and for people that, that, that are new to this, um, the waypoints are a way for these uh, pixelings to uh, remember where they were before. So they can kind of set a, set a waypoint and then find their way back to it. Uh, so when you start a simulation, they keep resetting them. But it seems like now they're actually keeping their waypoints. And it seems like uh, a lot of them, uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, not far from all of them, but a lot of them seem to be pointing towards these uh, apples. Um, and uh, apples are a concept that I'm playing around with, and essentially they can go to an apple and then eat it to uh, restore some of their health. Um, so I think what's happening is that they are using the waypoints um, if they find an apple, they, they are setting a waypoint to that location, and then they can come back to that apple uh, later on because the apples uh, respawn. Um, so I think that's what's, what's happening, actually, because uh, so many of the waypoints are pointing. You can see a couple of them here are pointing towards uh, apples. Um, so it would surprise me if it's actually anything else because it's so many of them now. Um, so those are two things and then the last thing I wanted to show that I thought was pretty cool um, I'm not sure how easy it will be to see now but uh, I could see it very clearly uh, before where, where the, um, they, they were building a lot more walls before and then for some reason they decided that building walls is not fun anymore uh, but when they were you could really see how they also evolved to uh, avoid walls uh, let's see, I, I think we can see it's kind of here that some of them are actually like going in between the walls. They're not perfect at it, but you can kind of see the beginnings of the behavior. Uh, and the way they do it is that uh, I also give them uh, the distance to the closest walls in, in a couple of directions. Uh, we can actually see it if we turn on a visualization here. So you can see that for a number of directions, they, they get the closest to the distance to the closest wall. Um, so they can kind of use that information to figure out, okay, am, am I about to hit the wall or not? Uh, and then steer uh, accordingly. So it, it seems like they also evolved to actually uh, take advantage of that. Um, so that's pretty encouraging, encouraging uh, results, I think. Uh, it seems like um, they are actually starting to evolve some quite interesting uh, behaviors. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show these a uh, couple of new things that they've evolved. Um, oh yeah, perhaps quickly I'll show one last feature that is pretty fun. Uh, there is also these, this new visualization that shows kind of the state of their brain. So you can see all of the inputs to the brain, and then the memory, uh, and then the outputs. Um, 
and the inputs to their brains are things like, you know, uh, is he standing on an apple? Um, I don't know if this is going to show on YouTube, but it's there's this tiny label to the right here that tells me what uh, where my cursor is currently. Um, so there are things like uh, look the, the pixeling is looking at, does he have legs, uh, and so on. And then the outputs are things like um, rotate, uh, move, or attack, um, or set set waypoints. And then memory is basically they can use them for for whatever, whatever they want. Uh, so it's just a fun little tool to kind of see what's going on inside of their brain. Uh, and there's a lot going on. We can speed it up. Um, and I'm honestly not sure myself exactly how to to read this and uh, understand what's going on, but. Uh, it is interesting to just to see that the state is changing a lot uh, inside of their brains. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, about it. Thank you for listening.